When your life's been put on hold for far too long When the sorrow and despair is growing strong There is always something good to be obtained From breaking loose and leave the things that kept you chained in the San Juan National Forest down here in the southwest part of Colorado. Probably noticed last week, if you watch my channel, uh, that I didn't get a video put up. That's because I was, that week, I was visiting my cousin, his wife, and two kids. We spent some time over uh, in the Arches National For or National Park and the Canyonlands National Park. Got a chance to do some great photography. I just wanted to focus on visiting with them been about five or six days there. It was fun. Enjoyed it. Now we're here, San Juan. Nice mountains. Where I was trying to go when I got here, there's a, another campground and some trails further up, only like a mile and a half from where I'm at. And I got about a quarter mile from there. And a while back, I guess there was a avalanche and it just covered the road. So it was like four or five feet snow covering the road trees and all that so had to come down here so where we're hiking out today up today is this road because it's about a mile and a quarter up to the top and from what I can tell I think it sits right around just over 10,000 feet and look at the map there's at least three four maybe five large peaks that hopefully we can get a view because once it gets up there Looking at the at the map, it looks like it opens up really wide. So I'm really hoping from up there to get a really nice view of those mountain peaks. But right now, right down behind me, another cascade. You saw I stopped and checked out that waterfall. Um, just didn't really want to photograph that right now, but down here we got some nice cascades. So I'm gonna run down there See if we can't grab a photo before we head on up the mountain. So let's go check that out. All right, well, we made it down here. Had to go up past it and come back down. Well, was actually one to photograph what I saw up there. These rocks down here shooting up into it. But for where I'm at, I just can't, I can't walk across this. So, I got this big rock out here in the middle, right here in the foreground. Got these other rocks that the water's cascading over. If I'm yelling, it feels like I have to over this water. It's really loud. But, the way I got it framed up, I'm probably going to have to do like a square crop. Because right here on the left, you got these twigs that sticks up out just peeking through the frame and in the background we've got this nasty ugly bank and then some of that dirty snow creeping in so if i do a square crop we get most of that big boulder and these rocks down here in the foreground so we'll go ahead and get it see what happens see how uh see how she turns out All right, we'll see how that one turned out. Just using the normal frame, it was hard to frame it up to where once I get in Lightroom, I didn't know if I'd be able to crop it correctly in Lightroom to get what I wanted. So I just went ahead and shot a one by one crop in camera. So I'm liking it. The big rock seems kind of far to the top, but with these rocks in the foreground, the thing is balancing it out. And also, being in the middle of the day, that water, I want to be able to slow it down and it's really bright. So I went ahead and just cranked it all the way up to F22 or stopped it down, however you want to look at it. 
and then drop my ISO to 50. I think it's 50. On the camera, it just says L. Uh -oh. So I dropped down just to slow it down as much as I could. I was able to shoot at... I was able to shoot at a fourth of a second. So it was enough to slow it down real nicely to where I wanted it. So we'll see how it comes out. Hope you guys enjoy it. Well, just as we were climbing up out of that small valley photographing this cascade, sky darkened up some, a couple big crashes of, of thunder. Hopefully, should clear up. I got no service, so I can't check the weather. Yesterday was looking good. I wanted to go out yesterday, but big thunderstorm rolled through. Big crashes, lightning, thunder, and even hail. So, yesterday it was out. So, it's clouded up pretty good right now. All day long, it's been nice, nice big fluffy clouds. So, I'm hoping it clears out, but we'll find out. And I don't know, I think, whew. I'm getting out of breath because I think, oh, I think because this is my highest elevation hike. I started at 9,100 feet, going up to, I think, just over 10,000. So all my hikes is, this year, or since I've been on the road, have been no more than 8,000 at most. So that little few thousand makes a difference. So we're gonna keep pushing on and hopefully it clears up once we get up there. We'll see you at the top. probably the longest mile and a half I've done in a while. The snow might as well have been sand all the way up. So tired. It didn't matter if I saw a photo on the way up here. I wasn't taking my camera off or anything. I was I just wanted to get up here. I was I don't care if I see a leprechaun riding on the back of a Sasquatch on the back of a unicorn. I was not gonna take my camera out. Oh man. The end of this road here actually only ends, I don't know, maybe a thousand feet further up. We're already apparently trespassing. Trespass, no trespass signs right down there, but down there, if I stayed on that side of the sign, I'd have all these big pine trees in my way. So that storm rolled in more. It's clear back behind me, so it's kind of rolling that way. And I think it's actually looking pretty cool. I was kind of hoping something like that when I got up here. I was hoping for more defined, dramatic clouds, but I think I'm gonna try to grab a couple of shots of the way it is now, and then kind of wait a little bit. Got this peak behind us. I think that's gonna work, but we're real close here. So after I try to get a couple photographs here, I'm gonna walk down there back further had a better view up through this valley and at these mountain peaks uh, back behind me. So 
I'm gonna get framed up and try to get a few of these. I don't know if we can see it on the camera. Let me check real quick. Yeah, right, right back there. Those are kind of rolling in, hopefully. I like the way those look. So I'm probably gonna stay here for a little bit because we still got, oh, what time we got? It's five o'clock, still like three hours until, I'm not gonna wait until dark because I'm gonna, it's gonna be easy going down, but get what I get and then head down. Um, I don't wanna be going down, start going down right at dark. So we'll see, but conditions change and I always change my mind last minute. So enough talking, let's grab, see what I can grab here and then we'll come back. Right, just as I was just as I was setting up right there above the mountains, I was trying to shoot a real dark sky. As soon as I put started trying to photograph and frame up, real big bolts of lightning shot across the sky. I know it's over there, but that don't that doesn't mean a thing. Because up where I was, pretty much the only thing out in the open, way up high. So I was like, well, I'll try to lower somewhere i know i'm surrounded by trees but nowhere else to really go so down on this hill bank at least i'm lower than i was up there um but i'm kind of hoping we're just going to wait it out i'm hoping that sun can shine i don't think it's going to happen but it'd be really nice if it gets a little bit of light on those mountains up against that real dark black sky i think that would come out nice but i don't have high hopes for that and as far as these, this mountain here behind me, I see a shot I might take while I'm sitting here. But I might go down further down the trail and shoot back at it because I think I had a better shot from down there. And then there's other mountain peaks. Um, all you can see just a little peak from here, um, from, from this spot that I can actually see better down there. So we're gonna sit, wait it out a little bit, see, hopefully we might be able to get some light on those. and. While I'm sitting here, maybe grab a shot I can see up there, possibly. So, we're just going to wait it out. All right, like I said, while I was waiting, there's a shot over here I was kind of saw when I was just sitting there. But the shot I was going for wasn't really working. And they got these, those cliff sides way up there on top. So I just panned over. And I was gonna zoom in real tight. But before I zoomed in, I saw my frame here. You got these two pine trees that act as a, they just frame the shot. And you got that cliff side right in the middle with that white snow. And you got these other pine trees going down that, that mountainside. Really liking that. Um, when I was sitting there, that sun was shining on it. And it kind of, clouds kind of covered it. It's kind of been going in and out. So I'm just waiting to see if that sun will peek over on it again. I think up there, I'm gonna swing over and grab that peak up there while I'm waiting on that. So at least we're still waiting on the dark sky behind us or to the right, that weather's moving that way. There's some really nice, clouds there rolling in that way and i think we only got um only 5 30 yeah we still got a couple hours so those clouds may make it over there i don't know but i know we're coming with a couple good shots right here i think that cascade one earlier came out pretty good and then here in a few like i said we'll go further down and try to get a shot of this from further down the trail. So I'm gonna keep at this one and wait for that sky hopefully to change.
All right, I got at least that one shot. I'm liking how that came out, those trees framing. The other one, some went away real quick and it hasn't come out yet. And it looks like, also looks like there's another storm rolling in behind this one. So, and I don't want to waste time up here waiting for sun to shine on those peaks back there or where those storm clouds are, just in case it doesn't. So I'm going to have to make my way back down to the other spot where I have a better view of that. So there's a big valley. River runs all the way through that valley that runs all the way down to that cascade we shot and that big waterfall at the beginning. Uh, but can't see the can't see the river go through the valley. That'd be really nice. Shoot up the valley with the river into the mountains. But well, like I said, we're gonna head down to the other spot and set up there, and hope we can walk away at least one more image before we have to head back down. So we'll see you down there. Went ahead, went down to that spot I was talking about, but once I got down there. There's too many of these, too many trees in the way and little tiny branches, and you can't get a nice shot of the valley with the mountains. So I came back up to another open spot. And the only real shot I see is those aren't really doing it for me. No light on them. These mountain peaks in the back, I like those, even though they don't have light on them. I've got that real dark gray rock with the snow and in the foreground you got all these nice green trees it almost gives it a little bit of depth almost and i'll put my polarizer on to kind of pull out some of those darker clouds so it gives a little bit more mood and i'll probably just do like a three by six i think that's what it is so it's more of a narrow long narrow shot or image so that's sean go for there here and then those mountains over there with the dark sky behind it. Once I grab this shot, it looks like light slowly going to peak on those. So I'll grab this shot real quick. And then we may have to get out of here because another storm coming in, more thunder. Harvey's about had it. I'm surprised he hasn't run down to the truck by now. He's just, he's going to shake right through the snow. <laughs> so let's get at it. Let's grab that. Now I'll go over there and try to get a shot of that. All right, that's just about going to do it. That storm coming in behind us, the thunder's getting a lot louder and more frequent. But they get a nice shot of that. And luckily, just I was trying to photograph this, that sun, like I was hoping for, finally shined on those mountains. And I got those real dark, moody, dramatic clouds right above it. This shot over here, I took a panorama of it. That way I could zoom in closer. And same thing here. I zoomed in nice and tight and did a panorama in order to get just that part of the, the mountain peaks. And then just now, I went ahead and zoomed all the way out to 70 millimeter because you got all these trees with no leaves on them. It's almost just gives a nice contrast between that and the green green pines and then the mountain peaks there so really like how both these came out well worth a hike up here it was 
I may be sound like a new, but it was brutal. I haven't, I've yet to hike up to 10,000 feet. I think it was thousand, thousand feet gain. And it was just constant. There's no, no down. It's constantly up. So down, going down is going to be nice. But glad I finally made it to Colorado, being through these awesome mountains and really looking forward to hitting more. And I'll probably be in Colorado for the next month. So I'll probably just make my way up through the mountains and hopefully here soon up here in the mountains, uh, the leaves and colors start coming back because down at the base of the mountains, around 8,000, 7,500 feet, all these trees, all this light colored, um, down at the base of the mountains, they're getting all their green leaves now. So I really can't wait until it starts turning green, getting into some of these nice green meadows with the uh, big rocky mountains behind them. I'm really looking forward to it. But with that, I'm going to sign off because now I see rain coming. It's clear over there, mile and a half back. So if you haven't already, if you would like, subscribe it would help me out if you want to help me out thumbs up share the video like the video subscribe again well not again if you already subscribed but if you haven't go ahead and subscribe so i'm gonna get out of here hopefully beat that rain so we'll see you guys on the next one probably not having any of this thunder <laughs> My adventure dog is strong. There is always something good to be obtained. Harvey, you look miserable. You tired? Long day today, huh? Can you go out? All right, let's go out. Find the strength to read.